think the angle is going to be. Let me just get that fixed. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. My name is Ashley, for those of you that I don't know. This is my husband, Chris. He's been practicing with us as of late. He's going to do this ultimate best. He's had only one cup of coffee so far. I'm sure many of you are on that same boat. Um, just a couple reminders. Make sure you have props as needed. Any blocks, any straps or something that you can utilize for that. Take that. Um, playlist. I do put those out. They are on my Facebook page, Instagram. I also try to post it on the Melting Points Instagram post as well. If you ever want access to that, just shoot me a message. If you're trying to find it, let me know. But we're going to go ahead and just get started. So putting yourself to the mat. Toes will come to touch, knees wide. Finding child's pose. Extend the hands forward and long. And as you find yourself in that position, there was something that I wanted to read. And it says, joy comes not from possession or ownership, but through a wise and loving heart. Joy is inside you, not in attainment of things desired or in the achievement of goals, but in the simple feeling that lies within you. So we're going to talk about that as we move into practice today. I'm just starting off there. And then noticing the breath as we're in this space. Can you find full inhalations, full exhalations? We'll stay just like this for about three more rounds of breath. And then picking up at your hands, keep the left hand as it is, just thread the right arm underneath it. So creating that X shape, drop the shoulder down, left cheek up towards the sky. And then nice and slow, switching, right palm comes forward. Just let the left arm thread under, drop the shoulder down. And then bringing left palm to meet the right, hold there. And then when you're ready, allow the hands to slide back towards you as you sit onto the heels, narrow the stance of the knees. Keeping the hands down by the sides, you're gonna tuck your chin to the chest and then gaze forward. So tuck it all the way in to tap if possible, and then look forward. One more time, tuck it down and then roll the chin over to the right side. Right hand's going to rest on the back edge on the left side of the head. Find some extension through left fingertips. And then releasing that hand, it's chin to chest, nice and slow, roll over to the opposite side. Left hand, right side of the head. And then releasing that. Chin to chest, draw the gaze at Inhale to reach the hands up towards the sky. On the exhale, take your palms and bring them to the top of the mat. Separate the feet, bringing knees at least hip distance apart. We'll move through cat cow. Inhale as you look up, drop the belly. Exhale, navel to back. Two more times. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale and round. Last one here. We just segment it, hold it. Inhale, look up. Keep breathing here. Just press the shoulder blades down. Draw the navel in. Take one more breath in. And then on the exhale, we round and you hold it there. Can you press the mat a little further away? Can you draw the shoulder blades up? And then finding that neutral spine, take your right leg and extend it long. Press back through the acute. So right leg is reaching back. Toes are tucked up. And then take the right leg and lift it. Take a breath in on the exhale, find knee to nose. Inhale to extend it long. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale to reach it long. Exhale, knee to nose, tuck it in, hold it. 
tuck your left toes under, bring your left knee to a hover. Everything hold. Right leg, can you draw it in a little closer? Three-legged, left leg straightens. Reach that right leg up towards the sky. And then right leg slowly to the left. Pedaling from side to side, shifting their weight is the first down dog of practice. And then working your way into stillness, can you press your chest back, hide the ankle. And then weight comes forward, drop the knees down to the mat, untuck the toes, nice and slow. Take your left leg, extend it back, press to the Achilles, toes are tucked under, weight shifting back. And then weight shifting forward, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to extend it long. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, sweep it long. Knee to nose, hug it and hold it there. Tuck your right toes under. So right knee only lifts to a hover. You're going to feel the contraction, breathe. Three-legged, start to straighten out the right leg as left leg extends up towards the sky. And then left leg slowly meets the right. Downward facing dog, finding some just general movement there. And then finding stillness, press your chest back. Walking all the way to the top of the mat, it's a forward fold. Halfway lift, interlace the fingers behind the back, get the palms to touch if possible. Then drape your chest down, hands over the body. We're going to hold here for just a few more. Nodding yes and no, perhaps get the tension out of the neck. And last one. Deep bend in the knees, release the hands. Hands come by the side, palms face forward, close your eyes, Tadasana. Drop the shoulder blades down, find your breath. Fluttering the eyes open, you're gonna take the right hand and bring it to the back and then bring it on the left arm. Drop the elbow down, pull down with the right hand and then drop the chin over towards that right side. Little nod, yes, on the diagonal. Taking it nice and slow. One more time. And then drop the chin to the chest. We just switch. So roll the chin over to the left side. Left hand comes behind the back to hold the right arm. Encourage that right arm down and then nod, yes. Feel it all through the neck. This is where we start to hold stress. So we release it. And then finding chin to chest, turn the gaze at neutral, release the bind of the arm. Inhale to sweep the hands up. Exhale to fold and release. Halfway lift and lengthen. Palm the mat, step it back into a plank. Fingers spread nice and wide. Now press your heels back. You're gonna notice a difference there. Now press your heels forward, lower all the way down to the belly, untuck your toes. Take your left arm, extend it out into a T or a cactus. Left cheek to the mat as you roll over towards that. Side. We're going to hold for three solid deep breaths. And then nice and slow, roll back towards the midline. Take your right arm, bring it out into a cactus or a T. Left palm to the mat. We stack the hips as we roll. Just three breaths. And last one. Transition your weight back through center. Both knees ground towards the mat. Bring your hands by the chest, elbows up towards the sky. Tuck your toes under. We lift all the way into a plank. It's downward facing dog. Hips come high and back. Walking to the top of the mat, you're back at that forward fold. Holding here would take it a little bit different, really working into the hamstrings. Option, hands behind the calves, maybe bend the knees to drop the chest down, and then start to straighten the legs. You could pedal from side to side, or it could just be just interlacing the fingers in the creases of the arms. We're going to hold for three more. And then releasing any bind that you took, deep bend the knees, come all the way up to stand. Tadasana, hands come by the sides. Close your eyes, breath in and breath out. And then open the eyes, take your arms out into a T. You're gonna thread the right arm underneath the left. Find eagle arms, inhale to reach the hands up, exhale, it's down and away. Two more times, inhale, come up, exhale, down and away. One more time, inhale, come up, down and away, hold it. Can you pull the elbows a little to the right while pulling left shoulder blade back? 
and then bring the arms back through center. Take the arms back to your X and then just switch. Place the opposite. So right arms now on top of the left. Create the bind three times up and then down and away. And all the way up, down and away. One more time. Pull the elbows over towards that left side. Draw the right shoulder blade back. And then come back through center. Release the bind, arms sweep down and then up. Inhale, exhale to fold. Halfway lift, palm the mat, step it back. Shift the weight forward. So heels press forward. It's chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Hold it there. Get into the lower back for a moment. And then tuck the toes and send it high. Downward facing dog. Taking the right leg, reach it up towards this guy. It's knee to nose. And just hold it. Can you press the mat away? Think about rounding the spine. Open up through the shoulders. And then step the foot in between the hands. Lift your fingertips off the mat. Palms face in. Drop your back knee down, untuck the toes. Reach the hands up towards the sky, low crescent. And then right hand comes to the hip. Sweep your left hand up and over your body. You're going to feel it all the way through the side. Roll that left shoulder blade and elbow back. And then come back through center with both hands. Palm the mat. Straighten out the right leg. It's toes up towards the sky. Drape your chest over your thigh. And then bending into the right leg, tuck your back toes. Left palm is down, back knee lifts. Sweep the right hand up towards the sky. And then right hand outside of the foot. Keep the back toes tucked under, draw right knee to nose. Extend the right leg long back behind you. Now drop your left knee, untuck the toes. It's a modified side plank. Keep that right leg lifted. Reach your right hand up towards this guy. And then right hand comes down. Tuck your right toes under. Tuck your left toes under. Now it's vinyasa. Shift it forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog breath in. And then exhale as we send the hips high and back. Downward facing dog. Taking the left leg, reach it up towards this guy. It's knee to nose. Same as before. Think about the shoulders. Press them out of weight. Curl that leg in nice and close. And then step the foot in between the hands, lifting the palms off the mat. Palms face in. Back knee drops down. Untuck the toes. Sweep the hands up towards this guy. And then finding that hinge, reach it up and over. You're going to feel that side body stretch. Transition back through center, palm the mat, straighten out the front leg. Maybe right leg needs to come back ever so slightly. Drop your chest towards left side. And then bending into the left leg, take this nice and slow. Right palm to the mat, back knee lift, sweep that left hand up towards the sky. Encourage left hip back and right hip forward like you're moving a ball. Left palm comes to the outside of your left foot. It's knee to nose. Now send the left leg long back behind you. Keep the back flat. Drop your right knee. Untuck the toes. Right foot comes out at an angle. It's modified side plank. Left leg staying lifted. Find your balance. And then left palm transitions to the mat. Left toes tuck under. Right leg meets it. Shift it forward. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. High and back. Taking the right leg, reach it up towards this guy. It's knee to nose. And how to extend it up. One more time, knee to nose. Think about the knee curling in. Press the palms away. Set the right foot in between the hands. Lift the fingertips. It's just like before. High crescent as we rise. Tuck the hips under. Reach the hands up towards this guy. Right hand holds the left wrist. Extend it. Now hinge over towards your right. Keep the hips tucking under. Keep that back knee pressing back. Come back through center. On the exhale, palm the mat. Send the back leg forward. It's pyramid chest to thigh. And then bending into the right leg, it's grounded warrior three. The back leg is going to lift. Take your back heel and press energy out. Maybe you start to hover the fingertips, lift the chest. 
and then lower the back foot to the back of the mat, bend the front knee. Left hand down, right hand reaches up towards the sky. Right hand outside of the foot, draw knee to nose. It's full side plank. Drop your left heel, right leg extends out long. Reach the right hand up towards the sky. And then right hand travels to the mat. Option to keep the right foot lifted. Shift it forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Hip stack. Taking the left leg, reach it up towards the sky. It's knee to nose. One more time, nice and slow. Reach it up. And then knee to nose. Press the mat away. Can you curl that leg in nice and close? Step the foot in between the hands. Lift the fingertips off the mat. High crescent, tuck the hips under, press the back knee up, sink the hips down. Left hand, hold the right wrist, extend it, hinge over towards your left side. And then come back through center, reach it up. Palm the mat, send that back leg forward into pyramid, chest to your left thigh fold. Grounded warrior three, left leg stays planted. Back leg lifts. Look at the toes. Make sure they're down. Press the back heel to the back of the room. If you want a little bit more, maybe you just lift the fingertips off slightly. And then bend into that standing leg. Send the right leg to the back of the mat. Right palm down. Left hand reach it up. And then left hand outside of that foot. Draw knee to nose. It's side plank. Right hand stays grounded. Option to keep that top leg lifted, left palm up towards the sky. And then left hand travels to the mat, perhaps left foot does or does not. Shift it forward, vinyasa. Upward facing dog. It's downward facing dog. Taking two breaths. And last one. Taking the right leg, reach it up towards the sky. It's three, it's knee to nose. So weight shifts forward. Inhale to extend it up. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, reach it up. Knee to nose, press the mat away, hold it, curl that leg in. Step the foot in between the hands. Back leg comes forward, pyramid chest to thigh. Grounded warriors three, back leg lifts. Option, maybe hands to prayer at this point. So to keep that back leg lifted. Now here's your challenge. Left foot, back of the mat. Bring the hands up prayer if you can. Lift the chest, keep the hands up prayer. Inhale, exhale, left elbow hooks to the outside of the right thumb. You got a little bit of a deeper twist here. Can you lift that back knee up? One more. And then come back to your center, palm the mat. It's right knee to nose. Side plank, optional bind at this point. Left hand down, maybe keep fingers to right big toe. Lengthen that leg up. And then option to keep the right leg lifted. Right palm travels down to the mat. Listen carefully. It's chaturanga down. Press up three-legged. Right leg up high. Set the foot in between the hands. Warrior two. Back heel down. Arms open. We start to add on some additional postures. Drop the shoulders. Peaceful warrior. Reach it back. Encourage that right knee forward rather than back. Side angle, modify it, elbow to thigh, left hand reach it up in the up and over the ear. And then both hands inside of the foot, left palm is down, right palm is high. And then right hand outside of the foot, step left foot to meet the right. Feet come to touch, reach the hands up towards the sky, chair, ukatas. And then start to draw left knee in towards the nose, it's short. Left leg comes over. Left arm comes under, left leg over, left arm under, it's equal. Can you sink the hips nice and low? Think about drawing the shoulder blades away from you. And then take your left leg and just bring left foot to the mat, release the bind of the arm. So the knees are still stacked, the chest drops. You're gonna find that IT band. Front knee is bent, back leg is straight. And then grounding through your right foot, Left foot just comes to meet it, feet side by side. Halfway lift, palm the mat, send it back. Option to hop or step it back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. It's downward facing dog. Taking that left leg, reach it up towards the sky. It's knee to nose. Inhale to extend it up. 
Exhale, rock the weight forward. One more time, inhale, come high. And then knee to nose, shift it and hold it. Step the foot in between the hands. Back leg comes forward, it's pyramid, chest to thigh. Grounded warrior three to set yourself up. Back leg lifts and then start to bring your hands to prayer if accessible. Can you lift that back leg a little higher? Chances are it's sagging. And then send the right leg to the back of the mat. Bend your left knee. Can you keep your hands at prayer? Lengthen it up. Now we twist it. Here's where we hold. Right elbow hooks to the outside of your left leg. Can you look over that left shoulder? One more breath. Come back through center. Palm the mat. It's left knee to nose. It's side plank. Drop your back heel. Optional bind. Peace fingers to left big toe. Extend it up towards the sky. We just continue to add on. So take what you will and leave what you don't want. If you have that bind, release it. Left palm to the mat. Keep that left leg lifted. Chaturanga down. Straighten it up. Three-legged. Left leg up towards the sky. Set the foot in between the hands. Back heels down. It's warrior two. Peaceful warrior, reach it back. Modified side angle, left elbow to thigh, right hand reaches over the ear. Think about rolling that right shoulder blade back and open. Both hands inside of the foot, lift your back heel and we twist, left hand up. And then left hand outside of the foot, send the right leg to meet the left. Chair pose, Ukatasana. And then grounding through your left leg, right knee comes in. So right leg comes over, right arm comes under. Right leg over, right arm under. Eagle posture. Can you lengthen the chest up? Maybe get the palms to touch, maybe, maybe not. And one more. Release the bind of the arms, keep the bind of the legs. Just release the right foot to the outside of the left. And we fold, chest drops down. Front knee bent, back leg nice and straight. And then lengthen up so you can release the bind of the legs. Halfway lift and lengthen. Palm the mat, hop or step it back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Last two. Taking that right leg, reach it up towards this guy. If knee to nose, we start counting it down. Inhale to reach it up. Knee to nose, hold it. Now Chaturanga, bend the elbows. Tap the knee just to a hover. Straighten the arms, step that foot in between the hands. Warrior three, back leg lifts. At this point, we lift the palms. If you haven't already done so, take it here. Take your left foot, send it to the back of the mat. Keep hands up for length in the chest. Now we twist. Option, maybe start to find some expansion, open up the arm, or stay. Right shoulder is what you want to think about, rolling over. And then come back through center. Palm the mat. You know where it is. It's right knee to nose. It's side plank. Optional tree legs at this point. Left palm down, right palm reach it up towards this. Keep tree legs if you can. Right palm travels down. Chaturanga one time down and up. Oh, that's harder. Right leg up towards this guy. Set that foot in between the hands. It's warrior two. Back heel down. Ooh, touch your breath here. Breathe in, breathe out. Peaceful warrior, reach it back. Side angle. At this point, it could still be elbow right to the thigh, but could be palm to the mat, left hand reaching up. And then left hand joins to meet the right, wherever you are. Lift the back heel, left hand down, right hand reaching up. Right hand outside of the foot, sit the back leg to meet the front. It's chair, Ukutasana, sweep it up. Grounding through your left leg, or right leg, part of me, left leg comes in, left leg stacks over left arm comes under. So we continue to add on. Maybe now it's elbows to the top of the thighs, right? You start to lean it forward. Find a little bit more balance aspect to it. One more. Ooh, and then start to transition out. Come all the way up. Keep the bind of the legs. You stack that left leg over the right and we fold. Chest drops down. And then halfway lift, release the bind. Hands towards the shins. Palm the mat, hop or step it back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Peel it back. Taking that left leg, reach it up towards this guy. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to extend it up. 
Knee to nose, you chaturanga. But remember that knee stays in towards the chest, so it's at a hover. Three-legged, reach it up. Set the foot in between the hands. You're at warrior three. Back leg lifting. Maybe bring your palms to touch, chest lifting. Bend that left leg, send the right leg to the back of the mat. Lengthen the chest, now we twist. Same as before, you want expansion, it's there. There's a bind, right? Be right arm under. Ooh, let's see if I can get it. Left arm over, right? There, roll it and open. You have level. Less balanced day like myself, that might be a challenge. And then come back through center. Palm the mat. Draw the knee to the nose. It's side plank, three legs, or it could be out here, right? You need that modification. You take what you need today. And then bring the left palm to the mat. Three legs if you want to keep it. Chaturanga. And up, three-legged. Reach it up towards the sky, left leg high. Set the foot in between the hands. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior, reach it back. Side angle. Could be elbow to thigh, right? It could be palm to the mat. Right hand reaching high. Both hands inside of the foot. Lift your back heel. Right hand down, left hand up. Left hand outside of the foot. Send the back leg to meet the front. It's chair upatasana. Grounding for your left leg. Right leg curls in, store. Stack your right over your left. So right leg over. It's right arm under. You could stay upright. You could start to bring your elbows to the top of your thighs. Sink it nice and low. It's a balance challenge, right? Our balance is different every single day. So find something small to focus on. If you're on that diagonal, Bring the chest back up. Just drop your right foot to the outside of your left. Release the bind of the arms. Drop your chest down. And then left leg stays planted. Just release the right. Halfway lift. Palm the mat. Option to hop or step it back. Bent elbows wherever you are. It's chaturanga. Upward facing dog. To child's toes. Toes trying to touch knees wide. Hips are back to your heels. Find yourself a moment here. Finding the breath, noticing, is it elevated? Noticing if there's something that came up throughout this that really just doesn't serve you. I invite you to remember that joy is a decision, right? It's about how you're going to respond to things. So if you're finding yourself lacking in balance like myself today, how are you responding to that? We'll take three more. And then when you're ready, press your palms into the mat. You're going to tuck your toes and lift. It's downward facing dog. And then we'll take one more. Here. Take that right leg. Extend it up towards the sky. It's knee to nose. Chaturanga, bend the elbows. Hold it. You know where it is. Lift it up. Straighten. Right foot in between the hands. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Find that length. Now we twist. Left elbow hook. Gaze back. If you want that bind you haven't taken it already, maybe now's the time to go. Last one. Bring the chest back through center. Palm the mat. Release any binds that you have. It's right knee to nose. It's side plank, your tree legs. Left hand down, right hand up. Take your right foot, cross it, back behind you. Drop the foot to the mat. Now turn your left, pop your ankle up towards the sky. You lift the hips, reach the right hand up and over. Right palm travels to the mat. Tuck your left toes, keep the right leg lifted. Chaturanga down and up, three-legged, right leg high. Set the right foot in between the hands. Warrior two, here it is. Can you sink it low? Peaceful warrior, reach it back. Side angle, maybe it's a bind at this point, right? We've worked on those binds, right hand under, left hand over. For those of you that want to transition into bird of paradise, left leg comes forward. I invite you to rise onto the right tiptoes and then start to make your way up, right? It could just be here. Maybe you start to extend. Maybe you don't. You play with that. I'm going to give you about three more breaths. If you're in side angle, just try to keep that there. Last one. Releasing any binds that you have. Hands come inside the legs. Lift your back heel. Left hand down. Right hand reaches up towards the sky. Right hand outside of the foot. Step the left leg to meet the right. It's chair, upatasana, hips low, hands high. Grounding through your right leg, left leg draws in. You stack it over, left leg over. 
left arm under. Now we'll play with it. There's eagle, or pardon me, there is a side pro variation off to your side. So what does that look like, right? You have your left leg stacked over, you'll sink the hips low, that foot, that left foot will start to move off the back of the thigh, hands come down to the mat, and we start to stack it, and we lift it, right? Play with that, maybe, maybe not today. One more. Chris is like, I, I've been holding this lady. All right, release the arms. If you're inside, curl, come out. Stack that leg on top, and then just drop the chest and fold. Walk your hands all the way over towards the right side. So you're now facing the back of the room. I'll wait for everybody to get there. There it is. Walk your hands all the way forward. So you're in a plank. Breathe. We gotta work those arms. Hips tucked under. So it's chaturanga down and up. It's only three. It's down and up. Last one down, hold it low. And then lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck your toes. Take your hands and reach it back behind you. Palms face in. Lift your legs, lift your chest up. Two more. And then hands come underneath you. Lower the legs, so hands underneath the face. Maybe one cheek to the hands. Sway the legs from side to side or just move the hips from side to side. We're gonna take one more. Take the legs, extend them out long. Point the toes to the back of the room so heels shine up. Take your fingertips, and interlace them behind the back. Try to get the palms to touch. Chest lifts first. Just keep your toes grounded for the moment. Notice how you have the tendency to press really hard through the knees. Can you get out of that navel up? Now start to lift your right leg and then lower. Left leg only and lower, right leg only and lower. So you're gonna feel that contraction as you lift it to your highest degree. Gaze stays down, just keep moving. Left to right. It's side to side. When you're ready, both legs. Lift them both up and hold it. Full contraction here, gaze is down. And then hands come by the chest. We lower it. Keep the top of the toes on the mat, roll the shoulders back and down. Just lift up to your degree. Maybe arms start to straighten, maybe they don't. You can sway from side to side here. You're going to get a little bit different release out of it. And then release it down. Toes tuck under, send your hips back towards your heels. Grab it. It's a full opening through the lower back. And then keep pressing through the palms, lift the knees up to a hover. And we shift it forward, plank. Shift it back, knees to a hover. Shift it forward, plank. Shift it back, knees to a hover. Last time, shift it forward. Chaturanga down. Inhale, upward facing dog. It's downward facing dog. And one more breath. Taking that left leg, reach it up towards the sky. It's knee to nose. Only one. Chaturanga bend the elbows, hold it. Now straighten the arms, step the left foot in between the hands. Hands from the prayer as you lengthen the chest. And then we twist. If you want to bind, it's there. You have a minor release it, bring the heart back through center. Drop the palms to the mat. It's left knee to nose. It's side plank tree legs. Now that left knee is going to want to pull forward. If you lift it up towards the sky, lift the hips a little higher. Now take your left leg, cross it back behind you. It's accessible. Lift the hips, sweep the left hand up and over your and then left palm travels to the mat. We all meet here. Left leg stays lifted. Chaturanga down and up. Three-legged, so left leg up towards the sky. Set the foot in between the hands, warrior two. So that's a lot, right? You need to set warrior two. This is where we pull together. Peaceful warrior, right hand back leg, left hand up and over your hip. Side angle, could be with a bind, could be bird of paradise. You have that bind, can the shoulder of the right arm roll back? Left knee should be in line with the ankle. We hold for a few more. Last two. If you're in bird of paradise, slowly with control, transition your way out. And then everyone, release any bind that you have, both hands inside of the foot, back heel lifts, right hand down, left hand up. Left hand up. 
left hand outside of the foot to the right leg to meet the left. Heels touching chair, tailbone tucked under. Left leg ground, right knee to the chest. It's your last time like this. Right leg, bring it over, right leg over, right arm under. There's that side pro variation off to that right side if you want. Them. And just play with it. Maybe it's about leaning up a little more instead of leaning forward. That actually makes it a little harder. Last two. If you're in that side pro variation, make your way out. And everyone releases the bottom of the arm. Stack the right leg over the left and you fold. Now walk your hands over to your left side and you turn and face what was traditionally in the top of your mat when we began. Walk your hands all the way to the top of the mat. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. Tuck your hips under so they're not lifting. It's Chaturanga down and up. It's Chaturanga down and up. Last one, hold it low, and then just lower and release it. Untuck the toes, bring your hands to your head. Elbows are moving open, and you're just gonna lift the chest only. So it's a little bit harder as we start to move the weight here. Now keeping the chest and elbows lifted, lift your legs. Now we just pulse it up and up. It's up and up. That's five, four, three, two, pulse, pulse, lift, and then fold and release it. Maybe the opposite cheek to the mat at this time. You can sway the hips from side to side. And then come back through center. Keeping the knees bent if you want it, it's bow. Option to reach for the top of the feet or the ankles, right? You, If you have that in your practice, you know where to go. If you want something a little different, legs extend out long, reach your hands out in front of you, palms face in. We just start to shift more weight forward. If you're in bow, gaze forward. If you're here with us now, where we are at, gaze down. Last three. Last two. And then wherever you are, just release it out. Take your hands, bring them by the chest, relax into the lower back, relax into the glutes. You press up. You're thinking about a release, right? Some of you will be like, this is not a release. Don't come off as high. And then release it down. Tuck your toes under, hands back to the heels. It's rabbit. You just feel that rounding through your lower spine. And last one. Pressing firmly through the palms, lift your knees up to that hover. And then we shift it forward, plank. Shift it back, knees to a hover. Shift it forward, plank. Shift it back, knees to a hover. Last one, shift it forward, hold it. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. So downward facing dog, hips high and back. Hop, step, walk, whatever gets you there. Top of the mat. Feet bent, knees come all the way up to stand. Hands come by the side, close your eyes. Your heart rate should be a little elevated here, right? That's good. That's what we want. Can you slow it down for just a moment? And last full breath. And then fluttering the eyes open, reach the hands up towards the sky. Inhale. On the exhale, we fold forward. You should be at the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Palm the mat. Keep the right leg forward. Just lift your left leg long back. Long back. Take your hands and reach them back behind you. Palms into the midline. There's an isometric hold. We start to slow things down with some serious contractions here. Now bend your right leg and then lift it up. Bend the right leg only and then lift up. One more time, bend the right leg and hold it. Keep that left leg nice and lifted. Keeping the right leg bent, bend your left knee behind the right hands come to prayer and then extend everything out long. Yep, left knee bends in, hands come to prayer and then extend it out long. You fall out, you get right back in. That's three. We'll make it five. That's four. Last one. Bend it in and hold it. Can you sink the hips a little lower? Curl that left foot in towards the glute. Your right leg should start talking to you. Left knee, tap it down and lift it up. Left knee taps and lifts. You're going to feel your Achilles. That's three. That's four. Last one. Tap it low, low, low and hold it. Now drop the knee. You should have this cross. So right knee up towards the sky. Left knee is under facing forward. 
Take your left hand and wrap it around the thigh. Right hand comes behind you, gaze back. And then bringing the chest back to center. Take the palms to the mat, fingers face forward. Make sure hips are at the middle of the mat. Extend your legs out in front of you. Hands come forward. And just breathe. It should be real easy here at this point. Should not fill in your hip flexors. If you do, drop the toes down. And then extend it back. Keep the legs out straight, hold it, breathe. Take the right leg only, lift, bend, extend. Right leg only, lift, bend, extend. And we switch, left leg lift, bend, extend left leg lift bend extend one more left leg up bend extend hands come behind your head left elbow right knee and then you switch switch slow switch slow make it harder than it actually is we'll do one more full set we'll call it over to the right and then call it over to the left Keep the hands behind the head, extend the legs out long. Hold for five, four, three, two, and then knees into the chest, hold onto the shin, little swing from side to side. Take the feet to the mat, knees to the sky, make sure the feet are facing forward, so toes are forward. Hands come by the side, palms are down. You're gonna lift your hips up. Keep your right foot where it is, stack your left leg on top like a curtsy. Press firmly through the palms. Now take your right hip only. Tap it, lift the left leg, and then curtsy and lift. Hips lower, left leg high, curtsy and lift. That's three. Last one, curtsy and lift. Left leg is over. You know this is going. Left arm under eagle arms. Take the hips and lower them all the way down. Now take the elbows and tap them into the knees and extend. Keep the shoulders lifted in and tap the toes down. That's three. Last one, curl it in. Now pulse it in and in for five, four, three, two. Pulse, hold it, and then release it. Release the bind of the arms. Release the bind of the legs. Hold onto the back of the thigh. Come all the way up to see it. Right shin over the left. Hold it at the knees, lengthen the chest forward, and exhale to roll it back. Two more times, lift it up. Exhale, release it back. Last in here. And then release it back, finding that neutral spine. Take your palms to the mat, option to hop. Maybe you step it back today, right? You do what works for you. And then find a vinyasa if you want it, right? Remembering, this is custom to you. If you don't want that vinyasa, don't take it. And then when you're ready, hop, step, top of the mat, you're back at that forward fold. You've got one more full side in. Hands come by the side. Close your eyes. One more breath. And then when you're ready, left leg stays grounded. You're going to reach the hands up towards the sky. Exhale to fold. Left leg to the mat, right leg extends out. Long. So to reach your hands back behind you. Oh, we got a little balance there. <laughs> All right, one more. Now take your left leg only, bend and lift. Bend it and lift it. One more time, bend it, hold it. Now take the right knee, stack it behind the left hands, come to prayer. And then extend it and kick it back, arms reach long. It comes in and it extends out. Find your breath, three. That's four. Last one, extend it. Now pull everything in and hold it. Point the toes in towards the glute knee, sink the hips a little. Lower, press the palms together. Right knee taps down and then lifts up. It's down and up. Find that, just see that focal point last time. Hold it low, 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 low. Breathe and stay. Press the palms together. Now lower the knee to the outside and sit your hips down. So left knee's up to the sky. You should have the cross of the legs. Right hand wraps around it. Left hand comes behind you, gaze back. Opportunity here to recognize the good, the joy in these postures, remembering the fact that you're strong, right? You're breathing and that you're come back through center. Take the palms to the mat. Release the binds of the legs. Extend the legs out in front of you. I know we got just a little bit more core. Hands come forward. It's all those quarantine snacks, right? All the cookies we've been kind of eating. Take two more breaths here. And then extend everything out long. Keep the legs lifted. Listen, all legs come up. 
Okay, bend in and extend. All legs up, bend in, extend. Up, bend in, extend. We'll do two more. Up, bend in, extend. Try to keep the shoulders lifted. Get it up and out of the neck. Extend and hold it. Now listen, curl the knees in, tailbone lifts, extend. Curl the knees in, tailbone lifts, extend. This is a little rock of the hips back. That's three. That's four. Last one, just curl in slow, in slow. So little curls, little curls. Your tailbone's lifting, it's lower abdominals. Three, four, five, and release it. Bring your feet to the mat, bring your head down. If your neck's having a little bit of a moment, give it a second. Take your palms to the mat, and you're just gonna lift up into the bridge. Make sure the feet are hip distance apart. Left leg stays down. Right leg stacks on top like you're in great Gatsby. You got your little curtsy on. One more breath. Tap the hips down, reach the leg up, and then stack as we lift. Hips down, right leg up, stack and lift. That's two. That's three. That's four. Last one, stack and lift. Engage inner thighs towards one another. Right leg is over, right arm comes under. Drop the hips down. Now pull the knees in and tap the toes. Pull the knees in and tap the toes. Try to keep the shoulders lifted. That's three. That's four. Last one, pull in. Now tap it in and in. Little rock. Three, four, five. Hold it. And then take your arms and release it. Hold on to the back of the thighs. It's left shin over the right. Hold on at the knees. Ah, made it there. Inhale in, lengthen the chest forward. Exhale to roll it back. Two more times. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, roll it back. Last in here. And then roll it back and just hold there. And then find that neutral spine. Take your palms to the top of the mat. Hop or step it back. If you want that one last vinyasa and you have it in you today, take it. Otherwise, it's downward facing dog. And pedal from side to side. Shift the weight. If you held your breath through some of that, you were just, you know, we all get in our heads sometimes. Find it. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale. And then when you're ready, take the right leg up towards the sky. It's pigeon. Right knee, right wrist. Lower down to the back leg, untuck the toes. Take your fingers and tip them right at the top of the mat. Start to just lift your chest back. You should feel it a little bit more through that left hip flexor. Left foot has a tendency to move off to the side of the mat as well. Just check in. And you have the option to stay up on your hands. If you have props, you can drop down to that. If you'd like to just drop down to the elbows or drop down to your chest, go there. And as we're in this posture, you may think my hips are never open enough. Why is it like this? Well, we store a lot of our stress in our hips and really try to focus on not completely Comparing what you have to what maybe someone else has. Um, Mark Twain once said, you know, comparison is the demise of joy, right? And what we're trying to focus on is joy in our lives. So be thankful for what your body is giving to you in this moment and today. We'll hold for about three more. And then very slowly start to transition up. And you're gonna take the left toes, tuck them under, slide the knee back ever so slightly. And then curl that leg in towards you. You're getting a stretch onto the quad into that left hip flexor. If you want a little bit more, there's a bind. Bring the foot to the crease of the left arm. Right hand reaches up and over the head, creating that, right? Or it could just be here. You decide. Last you, Chris is laughing, he's like, no way. And that's all right, right? You do what works for you. And then if you have that foot, very, very gently release it. On the top of the mat, maybe slide left leg forward a bit, tuck the toes under, and just meet at downward facing dog. Pedal from side to side, take what you need to rinse that out. And then when you're ready, it's over to the opposite side. So left leg lengthens. Bring left knee top of the mat. 
setting up for your pigeon. Taking the fingertips beside you, tip the fingers, can you lift your chest up? And then making sure we're not like really reaching the chin up, right? Just find a nice long spot here. And then slowly, either staying there, start to extend your arms out long. You'll be dropping down to the elbows or dropping down to the chest. As we're in this posture, you may notice some cardinals that start to join us out of the feeders. This is this is normally the time that they really like to go crazy on those. So you may hear them coming in and out as we're in this posture. And we're gonna hold for just a bit longer. as you start to experience maybe some discomfort here. Remembering that your circumstances don't control the way that you react, right? Just because you may be in some situation that's uncomfortable for you, you still have control over your response. Last one. And then when you're ready, make your way up onto the palms if you're not already there. Start to roll the right shoulder blade back. You can reach for the back foot if accessible. If you want mermaid and that's in your practice, take it. But try to refrain from dropping the hips all the way to the left. See if you can keep the hips back, right? Even distribution. And if you have that foot, slowly with control, release it. Maybe sliding that knee forward if you split it back, tuck your toes under and knee that downward facing up. Last time here in this posture, if you wanna move it out, if you need that vinyasa by all means, we'll hold for two more breaths. And then when you're ready, keep the toes tucked under, you're gonna drop down to the knees. Hands are gonna slide back to the top of the thighs. My least favorite posture, but it's so good for the bottom of your feet. Just breathe, make sure that the navel's not dipping forward, right? Tailbone's not long in back. It's tucked under, long through the spine. And last one. Take your palms to the mat, release the toes and just tap them out. And you're gonna slide your feet over towards your right. So it's a big transition, feet to the right, hips will slide slightly with you. Drop the hips to the left side of the feet and just extend your right leg out long. You have three legs. Left foot comes to the inside. Take the hands, reach them up towards the sky. Now take your right shoulder and pull it back. Left shoulder a little forward. Then extend long. Drop your chest down. And we'll take two more just like this. And then coming all the way back up, left hand to the outside of the glute. It's just a counter pose for the spine. Point your right toes forward, prop onto your left knee, reach the right hand up and over your ear. And then release the hips down. Left leg comes forward, right foot to the inside. Extend the hands up towards the sky. Now pull that right shoulder a little forward. And then we fold and release, drop it down. And then we slowly touch and take our way back up, right hand outside of the glute, point your left toes forward so that the foot draws and lift the hips. Keep your left foot up and over your knee. And then drop your hips. Bringing the feet together, knees are wide, last few seated postures. Hold onto the feet, extend the crown, and then drop it forward. I like to keep my feet a little further away from my body just because I have some tightness into my hips, my lower back. If you just really want the hips only, slide the feet in a little closer. And then making your way back up. 
take your fingers back behind you, palms to the mat. Take your right foot to the floor, take your left foot to the floor. Legs at a three quarter bend. Lift your hips and place them towards your heels. You're gonna rock back into your shoulders. If you can bring a little bit more weight to one side or the other, that's going to probably tell you which is your stronger arm and which is your weaker. The weaker arm is probably gonna hold a little bit more tension there. And then pressing firmly through the palms, lift the chest up. You're gonna take your hips back towards your heels, extend the legs forward, flex the feet. Shake it out so that your hips are rotating forward rather than stacked under. Reach the hands up towards the sky, and then we fold. Drop your chest. You may wanna slide from side to side. It'll let you wiggle a little bit more into it. If you have tension into the neck, you can tuck your in here and you may feel it all the way through the hamstrings. Great opportunity to just notice how everything is so interconnected. And then coming all the way back up, take your hands where the glutes are, slide your hips to the middle of the mat, feet to the mat. You're going to hold on to the back of the thighs, rock all the way back. Let the knees curl into the chest, little sway. You're gonna take the right leg and stack it on top of the left. Arms out in cactus or T. Drop the knees over towards your left side. Gaze out to your front. And then draw it in towards the midline. We'll just stack the opposite on top. Be very careful with the lower back. Engage the core to make these transitions. Knees drop over towards the right, arms out in practice or T. Right hand can rest on the top of the thigh, encouraging it down. And then come back through center. One final restorative inversion for our practice today. Happy baby, shoulder stand. I'm gonna take waterfall hands underneath me. You decide what that looks like. We're gonna hold for about five breaths. If you're here with me in a waterfall, you can practice some joint mobility, flex and point. Wherever you are, make sure the gaze is up and not to the side. And last two. And then wherever you are, if you're in shoulder stand, very gently start to roll out of that. Happy baby, allow the knees to narrow so you get them to touch. If you're here with me in waterfall, knees bend. We all start to draw the knees into the chest, holding on at the shins, eyes meet the knees. You're curling into a ball. Take a deep breath, deep as with a day. Pull in, hell in. And then on the exhale, extend everything out long for your shavasana. Closing your eyes, allow the palms to face up. To accept a little bit more energy for the day.
and very gently start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, allowing expansion of the breath. And if you have more time for your day, I invite you to stay like this. Otherwise, join me as we roll over towards our sides, knees, and towards our chest. If you're joining me, coming up to a seated position, eyes closed, hands in prayer, heart center. Bring these last moments here to find gratitude, knowing that that is the heart of joy. Well, joy in our heart, drawing hands to third eye center, remembering no one can steal your joy. You don't let it. 